I yeah. really dig the what what are we gonna call headband? Oh yeah, because this thing gets caught on my hair sometimes. Mm-hmm. And I was like, I love it though. <laughs> I'm like, no, let me get this thing. You look here. cool. Thanks. You look like someone I want to hang out with. Hell yeah, that's my goal. That's a big bandana guy. Mm-hmm. Um, bandanas are lit. I used to wear bandanas when I was in high school. Um, and then when at one point a group of friends of mine became the quote bandana brigade, where each of them wore a different color bandana. Okay. Okay. And okay. like I had been wearing bandanas, so they were like, "We got to make Josh part of the Bandana Brigade." But which color can he be? And they were like, "He is the only gay guy in high school." So they got me a rainbow bandana. Sick. Maybe only openly gay guy. I'm sure there were. Oh cool no, colors. fully. I was only openly gay guy. As soon as we graduated, I was like, I'm sure there were other gay forty girls, dudes. Were just were like, yeah, by the way, and I was like, "Fuck yeah, all of you." <laughs> I had to field all the questions. Hey, sorry that I fucking threw a rock at you and did a, a bad thing. It's okay, right? Yeah. We're still friends. Uh, hello, Twitch. It's oh, me. My name is Tim. Uh, I'm all right. Let's see. What what if I have a persona now? Um, a Tim Sona. Yeah, like a Tim Sona. It's me, Tim, the tabletop tycoon. That's that's me, and joining really? me today, as always, is Josh, the tabletop tycoon. <laughs> hey, me, what up? Pat, the tabletop tycoon. Hi, all my buddies. Is this what we're going with? Brett, the tabletop tycoon. Yes. All right. <laughs> it's perfect. I left my top hat in the other room. I know. New, it's the new show title after we finish this campaign. We got to yeah. change it. I mean, we can't call it. I mean, we could. We just want to be, like, chaotic as fuck. 90% 90 of my um, lack of productivity for things is, well, I don't have a perfect alliteration name for it, so I simply cannot do it. Um, the other 90% is depression and uh, a, a general yeah. lack of ability. But, um... This so table needs something behind me. How about a mug with my face on it? <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Oh, that's me. Ooh! Is that a hirsute pat? A hirsute pat? Yeah, this is at my sister's <laughs> wedding. I was definitely blacked out when this picture was taken. Hell yeah. Pat, you're and so cute. My sister, has. she likes to do this. She likes to take funny pictures and then get them printed on mugs and give them to her. Oh, that's what I would do for my sister until I just stopped. I she would... has one. Yeah. You did? Yeah, she would um, put them up at her office and they were it increasingly got more and more chaotic. Uh, like, uh, for the past, like, decade or so, me sending her ones that, like, had Kanye West lyrics on them, or, um, there's a Photoshop that I tweet every now and again. That's my entire family. Uh, all of our faces swapped for just Jennifer, Jennifer, just Heather and my Brett. faces. Brett, it's the, the colonizer of the table. <laughs> yeah. Yep. The colonizer tycoon. Yeah, it's co <laughs> <laughs> oh chaps no i don't i thought we had a top hat but it disappeared so this is the best that's next sick. best thing yeah. damn oh because of the yeah my dad's favorite mug is his dog laying like on his back with his legs spread spread eagle just everything on display and my sister got that picture <laughs> put on a mug whoa I took some incredibly raunchy pictures of Keegan and put them on a mug for my pal I Mishy. don't believe it. <laughs> I don't believe Keegan would, would ever do something like that. <laughs> if there are some spicy pics, but they're on mugs at Mushy's house. <laughs> <That's so funny. laughs> it's very funny when someone like opens the cabinet and there's just like Keegan's ass. <laughs> uh, what else? Let's see here. Uh, word descent into Avernus. Um, yep, yep, yep. Into Avernus. You know how there's different books published by Wizards of the Coast, right? And, well, this one is about going to hell. And our heroes, this is the 41st episode, uh, or, or session, I guess you would say. And everyone's doing great. I'm, um, I'm so proud of all of you. You're killing God and the devil. All at once, and I think that's hell yeah. Stoked about it. 
Got my little Diablo statue on the desk here. Oh, uh, 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 uh. it's missing a soul stone though. That's, that's scared evil. Me. That's bad. That's of the devil. That's scared. <laughs> that scared me. Diablo's not even that scary. He's just like big and strong. That was so fucking scary to me. Um, <laughs> but there's a lot of devils and stuff here. Um, I guess we segway, get segway, into segway. it. I guess we should get into it, right? Just freaking play some Dungeons and Dragons, right? Is that what we do? That's what I do. I do. Yeah. That's what I do. <laughs> I don't know about you. And I remember that it's my turn still. Thank you. I have no idea where we're Oh, yeah. We are mid. Yeah. We are mid combat. Which is going to make this I ended, very fun. I ended. Oh, yeah. That's because Chum did hold person. That makes sense. That, yeah. was, a, that was a great ending, even though mm -hmm. Nash goes last. Wait, Nash, you got a five for initiative? I certainly as F did. <laughs> I love it. Okay. <laughs> True talent. Two swords, my friend. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> Dear Diary, how are you? Me? I'm great. I'm great. <laughs> so we was able to work out a deal with Cousin Archie, or as he likes to call himself these days, Arcan. I tell you what, Diary, Mima would definitely be smacking him upside his head with a hot poker if and she'd see the way he was acting. Uh, and anyway, I gave Pesha back squeegee and we hugged and now I got two jobs, kill Zariel and get her out of here. Anyway, part of our deal was that Torgar fella had to come with us like a sort of chaperone. Uh, oh, and I almost forgot. We also let ourselves be cursed as part of the deal. Negotiations. Am I right? <laughs> anyway, we met, went back to Old Drak and got him all turned back into a Titan Empy Ran. And uh, he up and disappeared after giving us his bud. And then we went to the Demon Zapper and freed the Dow. We're just ticking off side quests left and right today, Diary. <laughs> and then we uh, jumped yeah, Torgar and his lackeys. And we are literally still in the middle of that scrap right this second. So I got to go. And then he, like, ducks out of the way of one of the, the goo cannon. <laughs> yeah, like a harpoon just goes by your face. <laughs> yeah. um, Nash, I believe you said you were going to cast your spooky zone, or did that already happen? I am casting my spooky zone. Obviously, if you uh, want to, not a big deal. <laughs> uh, no, I still want to cast a spooky zone, because it's going to be on the person on the car with the, the goo cannon and the cleric friend next to him. Mm-hmm. Uh, them two are going to be in the spooky zone. Yep. And then I would like to run 40 feet, uh, 40 feet of movement speed. And I do not remember where everybody is on the map. Okay. But I'm going to run 40 feet towards. Uh, I don't so, know. I'm so just here's gonna... the situation. Uh, yeah. To the left is Carr shooting ooze at you. To mm -hmm. the south is uh, Chum. He's probably 90 feet from you, give or take. Uh, Torogar is on his way to Carr. So he's probably about um, 40 to 50 feet mm. from you. Give Don't let him me. leave, Nash. Can't let him get out of here. He's he's held personed. Yes, yeah, he's held personed. The uh, cultist, if, if he uh, takes is... damage while held, is he is he free? I know. No, it's like crit damage. You have advantage oh, to hit oh, him, and yeah. if you do hit him, it's like auto crit. I'm very excited to but hit him. But does he get out sword. as soon as he takes his first damage? Uh, That's... It's just at, at the end of his turn. Yeah, he can make a saving throw at the end of his turn, so I don't think damage will wake him up. Well, that's great, because he goes first. Uh, so, yeah, he's probably 40 to 50 feet from you. Um, the cultist <clears throat> is probably, like, 20 feet from you and 20 feet from the car, give or take. It's kind of in a diamond. And, again, uh, we I have a battle map up to kind of track vague things, but it's not exact. Okay. Which is why I don't really <clears throat> have all you guys out on here and so forth, if that that's okay. makes I'm, sense. I'm going to move towards Chum away from the car and then I'm going to lay prone to give disadvantage to ranged attacks against me. <laughs> so wait, you're going to just lay down? <laughs> <laughs> That's such a good idea. I love that. <laughs> He's shooting goo at me. I was like, <laughs> but I know, I know it's actually like something, you know, it's very tactical where it's like hit the deck and you like 
drop to your chest and stuff. But I'm just picturing Nash like very casually just like sitting down and like laying back. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like, or just like stop yeah, mid run the, the sexy and kind of forward. Brown. Yeah, very, very that. Uh, I'm doing like the model pose on my side. Okay. So my assumption is at the start of the cultists and uh, the driver's turn, they have to make some sort of roll. Is that correct, my friend? Correct. At the start of their turn, as long as they're in the zone of danger, they must make a constitution saving throw. Um, okay. Uh, okay. Okay. So I've updated the map in case we wanted to have an idea. It's roughly right, but again... It's not big enough to show where Chum is. <laughs> um, sure, yeah, 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 yeah. But just kind of give you an idea of what's uh, going on here. Chum should only be 60 feet away. 60, my last oh, that's right. Was old person and thank you, thank you. Um, so, yeah, you're probably about... Yeah, perfect. Perfect! You, you probably are about here on the map then. We're pretty good. And two swords, I imagine you are... Did you switch the map over for us? Oh, uh, I didn't. You guys want to be on a map? Oh. Wow. I'm indifferent. I, I, I this is remember. this is good. I know stuff happens. I, I would want to be up on Torgar's. You, you keep business. using words like we can see the map. But. <laughs> you go in, guys. St- stop yelling at me. <laughs> uh, when did you move there? <laughs> stop. Go back. You can't be. No, you're no, you're thirty feet closer to him. I think. Uh, you move me wherever you want me. You are like here. Okay. I'm like, no, I'm perfectly in between him and the car. <laughs> <laughs> You're like here-ish. Um, give or take. Okay. Uh, all right. All right, Nash. Thank you for your turn. Torgar is up. And he, what happens? He gets no turn, and then he can make a save. Yep. A wisdom save. A wisdom save? Yep. You need... Him smart or him dumb? 14. Him? Hor- it's, he has a nine. But also he has an Ooh. he has an eight int and a nine whiz. So uh, I need a fourteen. Yeah. Okay. Uh click. Eight. Yes! yes! <laughs> oh! Which means he rolled a one. <laughs> no, he rolled a he rolled a, he rolled a <laughs> nine, I guess. Um Yeah. Cool. Uh, go, uh, 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 yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna step on uh, let go uh, <laughs> When Archeon t- hears about this, all of you will be mush. You will w- get to die. You. Uh, uh. <laughs> He's really mad, guys. <laughs> uh, what the heck does the cleric have to roll? I know, Josh, you told me. You have to roll a constitution throw. saving throw. Uh, you have to. I got a five. I doubt they have a high one. Let me scroll up. I'm using a PDF for this. What? Uh, Dark Priest, page 14. Scrolling. Oh, they're hot. I I love to buy a, a PDF online. And then you that. <laughs> okay. Dark Priest from Versatile NPCs 2. Um, all right. So, Con, you said? They got a 7. Yes. Is that, is that good enough for you? Or? A 7 total? Total. That does not beat the saving throw. The they take twenty five radiant damage Fuck and you. suffer one level of exhaustion. Thank you. <laughs> I'm still alive. Um, Thank you. Thank you, um, versatile NPCs. <laughs> okay. Um, so um, then they uh, they go. They move. Their bear in this picture is their um, divine thing. Uh, you know, you guys know what I'm talking about. This is it's a big thing. It's like the, it's like their super, um, super spiritual weapon. Uh, and yes. They move it down uh, in between you and Torgar and the um, uh, their their dune buggy. So it's kind of like a triangle, and they're sort of in the middle of the triangle. Okay. Um, and then they will thwack at you two swords, but with their spiritual weapon. What? 
Uh, I almost always forget how uh, they get a... I should stop rolling this d20. Let's see. They get... Where's their spell attack? I know how to read. Does a um, 14 hit your AC? Does not 10. Okay. So this jagged sort of uh, uh, dripping shadow and and, uh, bright purplish EDM light goes to stab you and uh, just kind of off of your armor but doesn't even scratch it because it's a spiritual and he says you us (laughs) oh the cleric has a disadvantage on ability saves or ability checks sorry ability saves ability checks yeah okay so if he wants to make a climbing check it's a disadvantage okay um he's going to move uh on top of the car Okay. And, uh, oh man, what do I want to do here? I could do that. Ooh, what does this do? <laughs> I want to. F- it's that whole thing of like, do I want them to not act in their own self interest to hurt you more? Maybe. I mean, they're 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 fanatics. Okay. Um. Uh, 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 two swords. Uh, wisdom saving throw, please. I don't want to. You have to. Okay. <laughs> you have to. All right. That is uh, 12 plus 2, 14. 14? If it meets, it beats. Congratulations. Uh, he summons a. Wunderbar. He cuts his hand a little bit, uh, taking one damage. Let me write that down. <laughs> Uh, and he throws the blood at you and uh, says, Ow. I touch thee with curse! And it drips on, and it, some splashes on you, and you're able to resist as it kind of like, like your bones start to hurt. You feel your 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 nails kind of grow back into your, your uh, hands and feet. And it hurts really bad, but it's RP pain, not actual pain. That's just nasty, brother. I'm this is gross. <laughs> Why don't you try and like stab me like a normal bad guy? Yeah, I don't like that. I'll darn it, man. This is this is unsanitary. You will be soup. Uh, two swords. You're up, my friend. I ho- what? <laughs> okay, we're gonna come back to you in a minute. Uh, you said I'm thirty feet from Torgar, and he's still held. Yeah, uh, he's held person. So. Oh yeah, he's gonna get to taste. Aloysius and Archie Bald. Up close and personal. So how does this work with uh, attacking him when he's held? Do I have advantage or it's just more damage? Josh, what am I looking at here? Hold so, person? Yeah, so I'm going to run up to him. Uh, all of your attacks Brett have advantage. That? Okay. Yeah, 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 I cast it, but all of your attacks have advantage and damage you do. And like if you hit, you do a critical hit. That's what paralysis yeah. does. Yeah, it's auto crit if you hit. Yeah. Auto crit if I hit. <laughs> That is the shit. All right. So first attack. So, I mean, yeah. <laughs> I rolled an 18 and 19 plus my 7. So um, I'll do these one at a time to make it easier. So I come in running and I do a jump. Like, um, we're going to do it like uh, Brad Pitt and Troy. Where there's a jump and like that. downward. Love yes. it. It's so okay. cool, yes. right? Okay. Yeah. So cool. And you, I like jump and st- I'm like having fun with it because I know he can't move. Uh, and like... St- <laughs> Stab him through like up here, and um, so it's same. Double the dice and just keep the fixed part the same, right? For crit, I feel like I haven't critted in for fucking ever. Yeah, that's correct. Yes, yes. Double the dice. Did, the, yeah, the plus is uh, the same. Yeah, that's a nineteen slashing damage on the first one. Okay, is, okay. nineteen slashing damage. <laughs> and then I spin around with uh, Aloysius and slash him across his back. <laughs> Thirty twenty. Dirty 20. Dirty 20. Does a 20 hit? Yes. Okay. Dang, this is going to be ugly. 8 plus 4, 12 plus 4 is um, 16. 16 more slashing damage. Okay. Ow! And then I calm down with a downward for my third attack, Archibald. Uh-oh. So 9 plus 7 is 16. With advantage is 16 plus 7. What's that? Was that 23? Yeah. I'm not paid enough to 
do six. Math is a hate huh? crime. Let's be honest. <laughs> <laughs> plus seven, thirteen, plus four, seventeen more slashing damage. Oof! Yikes! <laughs> All right. Um, Not what's it look like when I kill him? No, he's still no. up. Ah, <clears throat> you're resilient. So th- you, you're... Did s- you did seventeen after the twenty-three? No, twenty-three was my to hit, and then I rolled oh. seventeen. So it was, it was nineteen. Okay, gotcha. 17 and the middle one was uh, 16. 19, 16, and 17. Sick. All right, perfect. He He's bleeding and he's looking down at you. He's like, I will kill you. You will be dead to me. No one will remember your name. <coughs> Can you? And this like sweat, just like a fly lands right in his eyeball. Little help. You're, <laughs> Little help. Get it. <laughs> You're bleeding an awful lot for someone talking so tough. Please help me. It's very itchy. I mean, he's not two swords isn't cruel. I'll flick the fly away. I mean, that's just I'll, <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll kill you, but I'm not gonna like. That's just cruel. All right, next uh, up, cousin Archie the cruel, and I'm two swords the benevolent. Um. <laughs> all right, this is the classic thing we know and love. Uh, what do we do here? What do we do here? What do we do with a here Klondike bar? Okay. Who's here? Is this the other guy in the car? <laughs> this is the it's car guy's turn. He has to make a, a roll. A Constitution check. saving throw. Constitution saving throw. Car guy. I'm the car guy. I'm the car guy. Constitution saving throw. I will do that for you right now. Oh, Yay. he has a plus one to con. I love it. Three. Um, he will take eighteen radiant damage and okay. has disadvantage on ability checks because of his. Level of exhaustion. Okay. Love to see it. Truly. Wow, you guys are so nice to your new friends here. I would hate to see what you do to your enemies. Am I right, everybody? <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, man, they're not. They're mean. They're so. They're mean. not nice. Okay. Okay. It. This is easy. This is. This is an easy easy thing uh you see the car start to light up a little bit in that telltale way you know and love and he will you see the car blink away from you (laughs) let me give you the exact distance Uh uh-huh 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 I don't care if the car goes away. 300 feet away, uh, the car is now. So it was here with the cultist and the person uh, dr- shit, the person driving it. And now it's 300 feet away. Um, nice. Well, what I don't want. Uh, RP. I'll yell. Karloff, run them down. <laughs> ah, okay. They have... A lot of uh, a head start on me, but okay. Yeah. Here's what I don't want. I'm afraid this some bitch has got some kind of magical thing that will like teleport him to the car, <laughs> and then we're fucked. But he can't use it as long idea. as he. That's a great idea. Sh- uh, Tim, great see, idea. Do you no see, you, see when you, see when you no speak meta, into existence. No meta gaming, Tim. That's that goes for idea. DMs too. That's a great idea. Uh, no DMs, all they do is meta gaming. Um. Yeah, so they are now uh, Kill three, this guy. 300 feet away. And Torgar's like, no! No! <laughs> Artie! No! Uh, uh, okay. Okay, I, I yield. I yield! Fuck that, kill him. Uh, uh, Karloff is driving away. No, Karloff, I changed my mind. Come back. <laughs> it's too late. <laughs> Um, it's too late. Chum, <laughs> going. I yelled. Chum, you she up. heard it. <laughs> All right. So, seeing that super dope two swords attack, uh, Chum's just like, "Oh hell yeah!" Um, and from from thirty feet away, uh, he starts his run up to uh, uh, Torigar and goes, <laughs> "Oh no!" Fucking trog door, son of a bitch, and pulls out his sword. And uh, 
wreathed in darkness. Mm-hmm. Uh, Sorry, the voice was still on. Wreathed in darkness. Uh, just stabs uh, Torgar in the face. Okay. With his with his long long sword. So he's kind of like an up because he's like. Yeah. Oh, is he up? He's, he's like sixteen now? feet tall or something like that. He's a big yeah, he's, boy. He's a okay. big. Okay. Like he's a, feet I feet assumed feet. he would have like fallen over or something, being held. No, no he's literally move. held in place. Yeah, he's like, <laughs> yeah. Oh. Okay, <laughs> all right. As like, I was like, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, let me get so, that uh, fly for you. That's a. Uh, <laughs> And Tizer thinks he's really good at it. He's like, I'm so good at fire. <laughs> this is so you're still doing like all sorts of really cool stuff, like dodging his like attacks and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, oh, and it goes all Matrix, but he's not even moving. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's way over twenty uh, f- f- to to hit. Um, I got to do some math because I don't ever crit people, and uh, I get a lot of crit bonuses. <laughs> Damn. Uh, so, <clears throat> first of all, booming blade. Booming does... blade. I can yeah, do calculator. Right? I can do calculator. Hold on, I'll do it. All right. Okay. You tell me. So he gonna take uh, the one. Well, two d eight thunder, which is not a lot. He's gonna take five thunder. Uh, and then. Uh, well, that sucked too. Man, my damage rolls are bad. Five slashing, and then uh, because he get got critted with my long sword of life stealing, he's gonna take ten necrotic damage, and I gain ten temporary hit points. Uh, and then because I'm a super awesome half orc he's gonna take an extra d8 of damage because super criticals damn horrible damage rolls two more damage uh so it's just 22 and, total you're at right now uh and then i'm gonna divine smite him uh shit <laughs> uh which is two more d8 radiant damage okay oh yeah uh 13 more radiant damage all right what does it look so, like uh, when you kill him? Yes. <laughs> oh, uh, fuck yeah. You know what? Like, Chum ended this fight uh, unscathed and, like, unbothered. And this was just a straight-up vengeance murder. So you, in this one, it doesn't fucking look like nothing when he kills him. He just walks over, and it's just super cool. Just, like, get fucked. Yeah. And, like, this dude's dead. Yeah. Yes. That's it. Like in, 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 in movies where they have to kill the big guy and they just simply slide it in, slide it out of like under their armor and their armpit or something. And they go, Ugh, uh, and then uh, the magic releases him and two swords, make a dex, saving throw. And you're like, whoa, whoa, whoa. 18. <laughs> okay, you're, you're able to dodge out of the way as his huge body goes... <laughs> and <laughs> falls to the ground uh you hear a loud crash um six seconds later as uh uh you see probably about 550 feet away from you you just see the other car get smashed and flipped and uh, the uh, cultist, and you just see two little specks fly up in the air, and you see like bear kind of swaying. Uh, I don't know how far people can see. <laughs> Six hundred feet is probably not that far to see all this shit happening. I have no idea, but it's yeah. a hazy, bright day, and things like that. <laughs> uh, okay, so you have successfully Be betrayed your closest the- friend, Torgar Steelfist. Um, RP, you- Chum wants to fist bump two swords. <laughs> yeah, and. Hell yeah, brother. You have stopped the... Um, I didn't switch to the map. Hey, Matt. Hey, Matt. Hey, Twitch. This is what the map looked like. It wasn't really important. You need to see it. <laughs> um, you successfully stopped uh, the escape route. I did not realize that tormentors were so slow. Not That is a, h- a hilarious thing to me. They can only go 100 feet, whereas your demon grinder can go 200 feet. No, they can go yeah. 100 feet. Sorry. Oh, 
Yeah. Oh, fuck it. You still hear the crash. Because I don't care. Yeah, I mean, listen, they were exhausted, too, so. So true. F them. <laughs> yeah, they, like, hit a rock and lose three feet, so. Um, all right. What do you guys want to do now? Loot. 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 Yeah, I'm going to scamper over to the rest yeah. of the gang. Okay. Loot, 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 loot. Uh, you hear uh, a couple harpoon twangs from far away. And uh, I think that's cool. All right. On top of Torgar, Steel Fist, you find three soul coins. Yes. I'll add those. You also see these giant gauntlets on his hands mm -hmm. and this huge belt. Give me that. We actually talked about this too ahead of time. I'll take jump stake in the gauntlet. <laughs> I'm going to take the belt. <laughs> yeah, I can't do anything with any of it. <laughs> I like chop his hands well, off. You made a you then, you made a comment the gloves. about like oh man this is gonna be a little wild the stuff he's got last week so we were like we couldn't help ourselves so he looked you looked up his off. character sheet wow just wow. I wanted to see what he dropped wow you hear uh, that folks I play <laughs> some fucking cheaters wow I mean, I, so Dude, all about I, his weaknesses Brett, do you wow. want to talk about your new gauntlets? oh whoops when you stabbed you broke the belt congrats it's no longer <laughs> working wow twitch have you seen anything like this i feel betrayed i feel just i feel like i'm gonna throw up i'm <laughs> just so happy about my new toy brett do you want to talk about your gauntlets oh my god i can't even give you a gift you just steal them just, you're stealing we're still, we, them. we schemed and we planned and we waited for the right time to attack and that's strike. metagaming this is all metagaming i call no, it shit. i'm adding another fetch quest i was being so nice i was behind the scenes cutting out material uh in order to be more fun fuck you we're not finishing this campaign until next year i didn't even look at the oh, i'm sorry i uh... <laughs> So to be fair, Pat just spammed us with messages. He's just like loot, loot. And we're like it's fine. I, I don't loot. even know what the gauntlets do. None of you came and told me. Very, very <laughs> classic. None of us. I didn't look at, I didn't look at like AC or HP or Billy's. I literally just like what loot. I just googled like what loot does Torg or drop. Oh wow! <laughs> wow. Okay, well, fine. You spend it. 10 minutes figuring it. Uh, uh, Karloff after, like, uh, bring, comes and picks you up and tells you that it's a gauntlet of flaming fury. Hooray. And a belt <laughs> of fire giant strength. We're having a great time. And you, <laughs> and you only find one soul coin, not three. <laughs> I was just going to keep my misspeak, but hearing that you're a bunch of cheaters... Oh, you want to look up the loop beforehand? I accidentally gave you two. Well, I don't want to. I don't want to <laughs> disappoint you. You only get one. You only get one. Uh, uh, soul coin. Oh boy. Wait, really? Yes. Okay. <laughs> hug the cat. <laughs> Calm down. Okay, that's fine. I apologize. Yeah. Not like you guys. No, laser stay. Okay. I will own. I will own that. <laughs> laser right. stay. I need you. I need you. <laughs> No, I'm having fun. I'm more... I feel like I should be mad, but I'm just happy. Tim's just happy we were able to succeed. That's so true. Mm -hmm. Laser, the fan's not on, you little grubby little guy. Uh, I've got it here. Brett's gauntlet. What do these or do gauntlets you want me to... do? Do you want me to do it? Sure. Pat. Uh, Encyclopedia Pat. The gauntlets temporarily transform any mundane weapon into a magical one. They are also allow the wearer to surround a melee weapon with magical flames. Is that sick? With the flames last as long as the wearer held the weapon or until it was sheathed. And that adds a, a 1d6 when they're in to your damage of fire damage when they're... Well, sure be a shame if you fought a whole bunch of devils and demons that are immune to that. <laughs> That yeah, was part I of it that made me laugh because I was like, oh, I want that. <laughs> As an intimidation move, Chum's not going to like equip the gauntlets. He's going to put them on a chain and tie them around his neck just like as a trophy of having killed Torigar. Who, who are you trying to intimidate? There's no one here. The next, pe the next people. Oh, right? okay. <laughs> Why don't you put his horns on your head? Ooh. Ooh. Just like. That's fucking grisly, but I also like it. 
<laughs> Good job. Yeah, so you guys are you're putting so who who's getting what, sorry? Brett took the gauntlets. I took the uh belt of fire giant strength, which makes me very very strong. Mm -hmm. Strong? Yeah, you take mm -hmm. away. Yeah, what does that what does that bring your strength up to? Twenty five. Holy, Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, yeah, he puts it on, and it's like when Thanos gets the final Infinity Stone, it's just like, ah, and just like, and the veins, it's like, you know that weird bicep vein some people have that seems kind of awkward and out of place? Like, yeah. bodybuilder oh, yeah. that's like within the middle. He's got one that's like the, it's thick as your thumb. Oh just my pulsing. gosh. It's just right across. Pulsing. It's just always pulsing. Gross. <laughs> yeah, so my strength modifier is plus seven. My strength saving throw is plus 13. It's too big. That's stupid. My to hit now with the swords is plus twelve. Uh, yeah, Sir Newt brings up a good choice. Why? Did, why did you want the belt and not the? Um, um... Uh, well, I'm also that maxes me out on a, items I can have to attune attune to, mm -hmm. so I couldn't use both. And the uh, the extra to hit and stuff is actually more useful than six extra little extra damage. That is very true. Uh, tw 25, I'm so happy for it. Too. Yeah, I mean, having that much extra whatever uh, is amazing. And I'm sure it won't affect me at all. <laughs> yeah. This power that was never meant to be in the player's hands. <laughs> I mean, Two swords can pretty much like jump the shield. Back in, I think. <laughs> like that shield? Like. Uh, no, the shield's supposed to be there. I mean, the shield is like pretty explicitly like very powerful. It's like, yeah, they get it too soon, um, but it's evil and sh you know whatever. Um, okay, okay. So, do you want to do what else? Anything else? Anything else? What's up? Um, I, I mean, that was a good suggestion. I'm gonna take the horns. Okay. Okay. Do you do a helmet, or what if you like uh, fasten them onto like your pauldrons, so they're like. Whoa. Oh, no, uh, not as decoration. I actually really like the horns. As uh, can I can I just hold on to them as like two extra daggers? Okay. I feel like they're bigger than daggers. Yeah. yeah I mean... Or what? Like a extra, like I don't know, two more little dirks on my. Dude, dirk. like, probably like this. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> like two feet. All right. Guys, like seven feet tall. It's a short like... sword at minimum. Or clubs. Clubs. That's true. Make a hall out to make a giant alien horn. Or put them on the baby. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, just right on the front. Yeah. Oh my god, we'll look like we're from Texas. <laughs> I was just gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> uh, did, uh, anything else? I'm, I, uh, we should probably set the y'all. We should probably get the unicorn free now. Yeah, the uh, oh. well, Zala has just been standing there, and like. I didn't get involved because so I was mostly interested to see what happened. <laughs> nice job. Oh, the Dow is still there? I think so. Yeah. I don't remember. Oh, I thought they left. But, okay, so we're going to go get the unicorn free now. Yes, free the unicorn. Yeah, fuck this thing up. Bye. Uh, I think I, I didn't, they don't explicitly say what they do. And I probably said what they did because I made it up at the, at the time. <laughs> I don't remember now. Classic me. So... Is the unicorn? I mean, everyone we've we've hold on in character. Uh, everyone we've released and, and helped so far has immediately dipped. Uh, should we do some sort of containment on this unicorn? Can unicorns teleport? Uh, I have no idea. I feel like I, I, I man. I feel like literally. Anything is possible. <laughs> True. Can anyone talk to animals? Uh, I, I don't think I can. I, I can make a suggestion. <laughs> I suggest you hang out. <laughs> I cannot. I mean, it's a, it's an available spell to me, but I did not learn it. Damn. Uh, well, I guess. Uh, oh, I know what we could do. Two swords. You want to? Yeah, I can. You can get up there and you can just land on the the unicorn and hug oh, it. That, that feels like a very forward way of. 
I'm just saying, like, you there and, like, be with the unicorn and talk to the unicorn. You're the one that's good with animals. Can you guys t- give me either an arcana or religion check, please? Mm-hmm. Ooh, man. Uh, shitty at both. Yeah, I am so good at none of them. That's a uh, 18 on Chum. My god. Yeah, you would think, from what you know, uh, that unicorns are less beast, more divine being. Um, so this is not simply a, a, a magic horse, but a, a sentient and sapient uh, creature that is full of lawful goodness. Okay, well, listen, two stars, you can go up there and talk to it. We'll break it out, and then when it's free, you can chat, and we can be good that way. Okay. So you want me to, like, climb up and try to speak to it through the thing, whatever it is in case I it? Climb. Jeez. I'm going to go over and uh, uh, give you a pat on the back and a kiss on the shoulder, and now you can fly. <laughs> oh, sweet. I love when you do that. The fly. I mean, the kiss is cool. I meant the, I meant the fly, but, like, the kiss is cool and it's nice, too. Like, yeah. Both. Both are good, you know? Yeah, they're both good. Okay. Okay. Um, um, I'm gonna ready suggestion as a backup. Okay. Uh, as soon as as soon as the unicorn is free of its containment field, I, I okay. do little flutter kicks to. <laughs> yeah, as, as you're fluttering, you see, uh, kind of like over a crest of a hill, uh, uh, like a like a flying demon coming towards you, and then you see the unicorn sort of like its eyes are closed and it's sort of. Uh, kind of hunched over, and then as as it uh, as the demon gets too close, its eyes light up, and then from the entire orb, just and then just zaps the 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 demon and, and explodes, and then it kind of like shrivels back up and closes its eyes, uh, and then you it's about fifty feet off the ground, uh, bright light emanating, radiant light emanating. Off. When you get closer, you can see some more of the details. It's a gorgeous. Beautiful unicorn. Hell yeah. Mm-hmm. Can I start like, ransacking the tower to try to like break it? Sure. I'll yeah. say hi. <laughs> <laughs> um, Nothing. Unresponsive. I mean, it seems, oh. you know. Can I? Is it just light or is it something physical? What do you mean? So there's the the thing, like two pylons or whatever, holding it. Is it like a physical, like, is it energy? Yeah, it's, light? Like a, it's like a magical force. Okay. I'm afraid to touch it. Um, <laughs> it's not like you'll fall. I will fly back down to the ground, pick up a rock, fly back up, and like, oh, I think we did this before. I, I don't remember what it. happened. But, you know, I mean, you guys. Yeah, we did it. I don't remember. I'll like toss it, but toss it at an angle so it'll hit the barrier, but not if it goes right through, it will not hit the unicorn. Okay, yeah, it bounces off the barrier in the okay. in the area that would not have hit the unicorn. Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'll try one more time. Hello. Nothing. And there's a bunch of loud clangs and bangs of Nash whacking uh, the fucking tower. <laughs> <trying> to <work. laughs> yeah. Uh, give me uh, attacks against. Um. The freaking um, uh, structure. Okay, I got a 17 to hit the structure. Okay. And that's 11 damage to the structure. Okay. I can attack twice, so we're going to attack twice. Sick. Um, that's a 13 to hit the structure. Not, you, you, Your angle was poor, and you notice you don't connect quite as well as you think. As you'd like. Damn. Make us sit here until we do like a thousand. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that rock's got a high AC. Exactly. Yeah, big, big AC tower over here. No, you definitely, like, you, you're carving out, like, you definitely, your first strike, like, cuts in in a way that, like, is very satisfying. The second, just, like, your angle's bad and it doesn't go as, as deep. Uh, Chum, are you doing anything specific? Um... Chum has always thought that this whole thing was a bad idea, so he's got suggestion readied, and he is just okay. kicking back for a minute watching the show. Yeah, Gargoth whispers to you, like, this creature's not going to want to sacrifice itself willingly. You have to be prepared to deceive it, or cajole it, or um, capture it of s- in some way. No, I'm not sacrificing them. You don't hear this. <laughs> I know. Wait, what are you going to do? Okay, it's not important. <laughs> 
Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm ready to do some cajoling if need be. I'm, I'm a cajolable guy. Unicorns are intelligent creatures, so good luck. Yeah, all right, shield. But call me Gargoth. <laughs> or oh, the Hidden Lord, whelp. <laughs> if Gargoth gets three, he's like, gonna throw you in the bottom of the pick. river. Like, you're <laughs> right, a bye. Yeah. <laughs> well, he's a Jumanji in a in, in a large way, so you know what I'm saying. He'll get picked back up. He. It... I just feel like Chum's in a mood today, and he'd be like. Yeah, yeah gargle for my balls. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to Christ, and when I get out of here, you will be in, in the deepest, darkest mines for a thousand years. The undying shall be your curse. <sighs> I also like the idea of uh, whenever you don't want to talk to him, you just take the shield down and like hang up on him, like put a <laughs> like your your cloak over him. Like, don't don't hang up on me. <laughs> I'll fly back down. Like, hey, uh, I don't know if they can't hear me or whatnot, but they're not really responding to audible hails. So y'all want me to start smacking this thing too? Yeah, but you can or, or yeah. since I'm flying, I'm gonna attack the. Can I attack the part wherever like the energy is emanating from from oh, one of the pylons? I love it. The weakest part, please. Yeah, just the tip, the just glowing the tip. part. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. You know what? But not the. Are you attacking the orb or the? No, like where it's the point that it is originating from the, the in like the focal pylon. umbrum. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Let me, let the me part of like oh, the, yeah, the, the villain. Focal umbrum. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I'm gonna start smacking that. Okay. What is happening? What is he doing? <laughs> Tim's lost his mind. <laughs> I was like, it was. Fu- it might be fun to flip through the actual book as opposed to all my digital copies. Whoa! Mm-hmm. Look at that. Isn't that scary? Ooh. No. Uh, you've, killed, you've killed some of them, and you saw them just like earlier today. Not a big deal. <laughs> yeah. All right. So that's a dirty twenty. Okay. And there goes my d twenty. I'll get another one. And a twenty-three. Okay. And a thirteen. Okay. Uh, so the uh, the artist that drew Torgar, I believe, is David Sladek. Nice. I like that. Give credit. Yeah, because it's really rad and cool yeah. design. And if he wasn't such a dick, I would totally want to hang out with him. <laughs> David Slawdeck drew all of them. The whole crew. Um, yeah, so this thing has 250 hit points. So uh, oh. I imagine you hitting the umbral fulcrum uh, is is a critical a critical strike. So we don't Great. really need to... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? <laughs> Have you roll... <laughs> Sit here and roll for 20 minutes? I kind of want to, because that's funny to me. Um, <laughs> we just watch the numbers go down on the Yeah, screen. it's objectively <laughs> bad content. We'll come um, back. They're like, we'll come back. In tw- we'll, we'll come back. Yeah, it's bad content and just simply not fun for us. Who cares about the, the, our beautiful viewers? Uh, so yeah, he, at one moment, like the you saw, kind of see it like crumbling a little bit, and you 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 think, what's like the final strike going to look like? It's like swaying um, in the wind. To me or the people on the ground? To all of you, because you're, you're 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 communicating, and after a while, yeah. like three, two, one, slash. Uh, the orb yeah, does one of those like anime different. explosions. <laughs> yeah. You know what we could probably do? You could just swoop down and come grab me. I will do my sweet, sweet hyena jump into the air, Sick. and then as I'm piling down on it, and I with catch my, with my, and movie, I like get my hands like up under his armpits, like here, and I'm like mm, holding him out, like or grab him by the ankles and then swing Nash as Nash is swinging his <laughs> swing Nash, yeah, just yeah. For, like... <laughs> What are two legs if not two swords? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is this is true. <laughs> I could be your sweet hyena sword. And the pylon crumbles. It crumbles with a huge blast of anime light. 
uh, um, Nash and uh, Two Swords, you are knocked from the sky and blasted into the ground. You take... I cast Featherfall on myself as a reaction. No. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you yes, take... That's, this... that's not how this game works. <laughs> All right, I rolled... You're too weak to say no. That's true. Yeah. Uh, I rolled every single dice in this box. <laughs> Oh shit! <laughs> uh, you take no. eight uh, uh, hoof damage as you bonk against the ground, and uh, you have a like you know how in a movie there will be like some really fucked up shit that happens like oh they were inside when a huge explosion happened and they got thrown. We got inside a fridge, Tim. It's okay. Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and it's a situation where obviously your heart probably would have stopped or you would have ruptured like a lung. But there's like a real gnarly piece of the um, uh, 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 structure, the, the demon zapper itself, lodged into your arm for, that's right, Ooh. eight we... damage for mm, both of you. And like Can one we talk damage. about that yeah. fucking movie? Um, no. That's not even the worst scene in that movie. And I love, I adore, the first three Indiana Jones movies are some of my favorite of all time. Did you that... just watch this? No, it was a while ago. But that fucking movie, and I like everyone talks about the fridge. The fridge is not even close to the worst part. The worst part is that Monkeys. fucking fight in the fifties diner between the preps and the greasers to like some ragtime. Like it's just the most <laughs> cliche, awful fucking thing. Damn Fuck that movie forever. Yeah, so. I mean, I applaud you for not saying the monkeys. This has been is the, cat rant. Is the monkeys not the worst part? Fuck. I think I'm going to be blocked up from my memory. I don't know. <clears throat> okay. Uh, as the dust and light settles, it's like it, there's like two different blasts. There's the first one uh, it, where you take the massive eight hit points of damage as there's just a huge rusty spike through like your heart or whatever. Um, and then there's a second one as like you're kind of – you can't see in front of you. It's like dust everywhere. Loud groaning, clanking, uh, metal on metal, metal shearing itself off from uh, weaker bits. And then you just hear a huge uh, sort of like gong noise or like a chime, maybe a bell, maybe something like that. Um, and it blows all the dust away. So it goes from this sort of ruddy orange uh, 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 dirty sort of uh, un inability to see to this blinding radiant light as the most gorgeous, beautiful, sexy unicorn floats down like mercy from an early um, Overwatch <laughs> promo as it just goes down, tips the tip of um, its horn to your massive, huge wound, Two Swords, you feel yourself friggin' dying. You roll a, uh, roll a death saving throw. <laughs> <laughs> roll a death saving <laughs> throw. Uh, that's just like a straight up D20, right? Yeah. 13. Oh, fuck, you got a one? That's what I heard. No, no <laughs> more. As the horn touches your, your, your huge wound, you, the uh, 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 area around the uh, barb kind of separates a little bit, and the uh, structure piece of the demon zapter slowly lifts out, and then your skin knits together in such a beautiful way. You don't have a scar, but you, well, you have a little. It looks like a little lightning bolt. Um, and the same thing happens to you, Nash, and uh, and you hear, Greetings. Thank you for releasing me. I sure do hope that you didn't hurt yourself too bad. And this... Uh, at least for a lot of other people. <laughs> and <laughs> this gorgeous, just thick, meaty uh, unicorn dips its head low to you, has a beautiful mane that looks like um, moonlight uh, on a, a frosty winter morn. Um, it's, it's, its horn is sparkly and white, 
reminds you of the first full moon you saw the after a date with a crush or where you went to get cold stone creamery with a group of friends and your crush was there and they accidentally touched your hand Gr greetings i am moon color shall i have your names great and powerful heroes hey i'm two swords they call me two swords because i fight with two swords Thank you, Two Swords. What about you, young hyena shifter friend? I'm uh, Nash with uh, a G. Don't forget the G. Uh, yeah, Nash Satin Jaw of the Satin Jaw Clan because we have soft lips. Oh, that I can see. And how about you? Oh, God. Uh, how about you, uh, sir? Uh, you know, uh, hi, I'm I'm Chum. Uh, you know, like uh, you're Chum, and you can trust me implicitly. Uh, uh, and Chum casts a uh, suggestion uh, with those words. <laughs> Sick. I'm not down for this. Well, uh, <laughs> we didn't tell him to stop. <laughs> um, suggestion has no uh, uh, detectable fail state, so either it works or it doesn't. But I okay. don't think it it's like, like a, a detectable throw or spell. Like that? Yeah. Uh, yeah, wisdom. Uh, is is this technically charmed? Oh, it cannot be charmed. I didn't say that. I'm just asking. Okay, well, <laughs> yeah. Can a dungeon master ask if a character right. can be charmed or not? That would be that would be the thing that would stop this in its tracks. Theoretically, uh, it, uh, what's the saving throw? Fourteen. Uh, it got a fourteen. So, woohoo! Cool. Dang. Hey, I, I got something real important. I got to talk to you about Moon Who. There moon goes the color. Spot. Moon color. Please call me Moon Color. I've been trapped in this orb for <laughs> well, maybe one second or maybe a Listen. thousand years. Do they yeah. still have those little chocolates they give you when you get a coffee in the prime material plane? Yeah. Yes. That's good. <laughs> good as hell. Ooh, oh, that is up. so. Uh, the first thing I do when I leave this ghastly place is to get a delicious coffee in. Water deep. I wonder if the stable master there that would brush my hair so wonderfully is still there. Do you know of him? No, but I got a real important question for you. Okay. Why aren't y'all called Unihorns? He gores you through the heart. <laughs> <laughs> and you're dead. <laughs> you die. You, you fucking die. I uh, think that's an English problem. <laughs> unicorn. Uh, um, no. So... I'm gonna be real straight with you. We could use your help. Okay. To like stop some bad guys. Okay. What I I shall owe you uh, uh one, as they say. Yeah. Um. All right. Listen, I'm gonna be real gay with you. We were brought on this mission specifically to bring. A quote, good soul or whatever to be oh, sacrificed. Yeah, we oh, don't want. To, we don't. We don't want to sacrifice that. you. Oh, yeah, we would rather. We would rather use your help to go double cross the people who want to sacrifice you. They're bad. Then, They're bad guys. Yeah, and then <laughs> and, uh, and Rosala is just next to you with a big bucket eating rocks. Like this is great. <laughs> This is great. <laughs> so good. I, I love it's having so a free good. will. I oh. can't remember if I ran away last episode or not, but I'm here now. Ah, uh, this yeah. is great. <laughs> so, Moon Color, like, yeah. We're supposed to take you to be sacrificed. We're not going to do that because we're good guys. Uh, we have a curse on us where we have to go back at some point. I don't know exactly when that will kick in so we can try and like see how long this leash will go before something happens to us. Or we can just go back now, and you seem like a pretty powerful sort, and maybe you can help us. We already took out one of their big three bad guys. Yeah. Uh, yeah. To be clear, our curse makes us go back. It doesn't make us sacrifice you. So we're, you know, uh, we're on your side here, but we do have kind of a curse on us. So. Well, what if yeah. I left? <laughs> that would be really uncool. Well, who were you? And you said you might even say it was evil. Yeah, and you said you owed us one. I do owe you one. I do. Please don't just disappear. You'd be like the third person in a row. <laughs> we helped, and then they just fucking disappeared on us. Well, yeah. I couldn't just simply cast teleport. Hmm. 
Please don't. Uh, oh wait, what it's if with we... a location I'm familiar hey, with. Can you teleport? Up to one mile you... away. I don't know where I am. Can you teleport someone out of a bad situation? Yes. God, y'all. What if we could bring the unicorn to Arcan and the unicorn could teleport Pesha out of here? And she can go back and be happy. And then we can think... like fuck up Arcan and Turtle and the Turtle. Well, I feel like the unicorn has to be with the person teleporting. And they, they both can go. I can teleport three willing creatures. I'm very powerful. Oh, the willing is an important part. If Pesha doesn't want to go, then... Yeah, she does. Yeah, she does, man. <laughs> I mean, it sounds like you won't have any problem getting out of this thing, though. Uh, if, if we take you over there, finish our little bargain. Uh, I mean, oh, yeah. the key is help to beat them because our kid's yeah. very strong. We can't just do it on our own. Yeah, we need your help fighting. Also, do you think the curse will, if all we do is show up with Moon Color, the curse will be lifted and then the set black? And then I we're free? I think that's reasonable, I would say. Yeah, I think the terms are like we just go back. Yeah, you gotta br- literally bring Mooncaller to... Okay, bring Mooncaller back, and then we just immediately teleport away. Bye! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Walk we could up. do that. Look, we did it. Curse over. See ya. Mm-hmm. And we bring Pesha with us. Sure. That is one too many creatures. Yeah, one of you have to stay back. Including uh, Lulu, including... Um, yeah. Well, Karloff. it could literally just be Chum, Nash, me, and the Unicorn that go in. That's true. True, but then one of us has to stay so Pesha can go. No, it's the it's... unicorn plus three. We are three. Me? Yeah, shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Listen, I can't do math, but I can count. That's the thing a gaze can do. <laughs> uh, uh, give me some sort of uh, charisma check for this character, for this, for oh, moon color. Like a, like a persuasion? Sure, friend. Twenty one. Twenty one. Damn. All right, I will assist you, but I will not simply throw my life away meaninglessly. So if things get rough, I think we can all agree <laughs> I will not be your sacrifice. But if there is some evil to be quenched and I can help, even though this place is filled with the worst evil around, then well, I'll, 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 I'll help you. Cool. Sure. Ultimate goal, uh, the unicorn is not to be sacrificed. That we all agree. Yeah. Sure. Uh, <laughs> I agree more than all of you, I think. <laughs> Wait, True. Nash, you've got like a teleport thing, right? How far can you go? Uh, okay, so I can teleport uh, 90 feet. Mm. And... Um, How many times can you do it? <laughs> like in a row? Bam, 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 bam. <laughs> I, could do, I could do it twice. Hmm. <laughs> Um, there might be a potential if I were to um, experience enough to attain another level where I could potentially teleport even harder, but uh, that is not here right now. Okay. <laughs> I mean, maybe next time. So what do y'all want to do? How we, how we want to play this? We could grind boars in the woods until we level up enough. <laughs> yeah, now you're gonna go. Like, we don't know. You thought these side quests were bad. Let's go, baby. <laughs> we don't know when the curse is gonna kick in either to to like compel us back. Well, we we are compelled now. Like I think it's oh, more like a. The fact that we've like, achieved our objective of getting the the. the yeah, the compel curse. kind of sounds more like a like an electric fence. Mm-hmm. So if we Rather don't like leave a, from here and start heading back we're going to start feeling some kind of effects. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, if we wander yeah. too far off the beaten path, it'll be like... Zzz, get... Yeah, I, I believe, like, literally the first time you choose not to do it, you'll get a zap. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so, Chum, Chum we agree that we're going this. back, so we're still good in the in the thing. Chum, just, Chum turns away from the, where we're supposed to go and takes, like, two steps, and it's like... <laughs> oh, I feel a little nauseous. Yeah, so basically, I mean, I'll tell the players this just to kind of, you know, uh, make it a little more understanding. And you guys are powerful. You level 9, whatever. Um, you will take damage every single day that you do not um, uh, listen, I guess. I'm going mm-hmm. to, yeah. for funsies, tell you... No, I won't. Uh, you... you 
how, how much HP do you guys have? Wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> That's I'm the like, best response I, I, of uh, a player. Ever. I, <laughs> Wouldn't you like very to Very something my, that I would do. Max is 96. 96. Damn, my max is 57. What the fuck? Currently, I have 81, but normally okay. 70. Whoa! I have yeah, no HP. This so you up. can end up with, like, almost dead to, like... It, like situated it feels like it's that he kind of warns you like you guys yeah. are strong obviously you'll be able to survive one zap but hopefully you don't i don't know yeah like, the right, rest so... of the campaign would have to be every single morning we have to roll a dice uh, a handful of dice and yeah. be like okay today so, you have this m many fewer hps i think we have no choice but we have to go back to cousin archie's question is how do we you know who goes in how do we approach and what's our game plan once we're in there <sighs> who is this archie is he some sort of demon perhaps a dreaded do you, do you uh, know some uh he he's been calling himself arcan the cruel hmm. no no he's like a drag he's he's a red scale like me uh he's got a funky hand hmm. like grody a grody hand? Okay. Yeah, grody hand. Yeah. That happens. Uh, He's not, doesn't seem very not, it seems like he's been touched by some evil stuff. Mm. Also touched in the head. He wants to bring, he wants to bring back T and Matt. He wants to do what? Yeah, exactly. so you're going to help us now, aren't you? Well, I'm, uh, that means I do more, but now I'm afraid. I don't be afraid. Okay. Hey, courage is not the absence of fear. It's being afraid and doing the right thing anyway. Thank you so much. Dan, you really are a bard. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, just to kind of also uh, put in while Zala kind of is like, well, I'm going to go. Uh, and uh, I believe I described this last time, handed you a, a neatly folded letter. Yes. That says uh, two dot dot dot. And it was a huge flourished B on there. And uh, uh, they say to you guys, uh, just be careful um, when you, uh, uh, this is to a good friend, just kidding, no, this guy sucks. Uh, he, this, this will lead you to Bell. Uh, do you know Bell? Not no. like we know Bell. Mm -hmm. Chum, do you know Bell? Uh, you it's not brother? ringing a bell. Oh. Nope. <laughs> She read a lot of books, hang out with uh, right. big furry dudes. You guys are also stepped. Uh, uh, let me read to make exactly sure. Return the demons after the characters find Rosala also honors her word. After gulping down the Imprian blood to free herself and her pack, she etches her letter of introduction to Bell onto a basalt tablet and directs the characters to her to his volcanic lair. The adventure continues and blank. Okay, well, you don't get a basalt tablet, you get a letter. Cause I, I don't want... That's funny it would be to carry a giant rock. Like, oh, fuck, I dropped it like Moses. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was thinking, too. Whoopsies. Uh, 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 she goes, well, I'm going to go. You want to help? You want to hang with us, too? No. You guys are gonna probably going to die. And I think it's that's cool. Fun. No. Good luck, Moon Color. It's been hell. I know we haven't met, but I feel like we have a connection. Yes. Ralzala, I bear you no ill will. I see you were touched by some sort of curse of your own. And one day, I hope our paths cross again. <laughs> Doubtful. If that happens, we'll liably kill each other. That's true. I do weirdly want to kill you. But I feel like as long as we don't cross paths again, we should be fine. And Ralzala, like, kind of burrows under the ground and leaves. Nice. That was weird. That was weird. I, last thing I remember, I was walking in a wonderful moonlit glade, thinking of delicious treats to give to humans. And then, well, here. Damn. <laughs> okay. So, we should, like, get, get what, a move what on. What kind of treats? No. Treats? <laughs> well, sometimes I will give them delicious mushrooms that taste sweeter than the day is beautiful uh, a, a, a crystalline jar filled with dew off a thousand year old glade tree the water Damn. constantly cold i don't have any of that here 
I have a okay. thing, like a religious symbol that's constantly cold. Oh, oh yeah, Ralzala was going to tell you about Bell. My bad. Uh, Bell! <laughs> oh, I'm back, I forgot. <laughs> uh, Just burst out of the ground. Oh yeah, by the way. Hi! <laughs> uh, uh, so, uh, he, Bell used to be the ruler of Avernus, and uh, is one uh, asshole, but if anyone can help you, and has a bit of a, uh, a grudge against Zariel, it's Bell. So, good luck! Cool. But, uh, nice. Just be careful. If you run up on him the wrong way, he'll, he'll likely just to kill you. Just because uh, this letter should get you past the f- front guards. It's, it's magically attuned to, to show you as a guest. But again, it, it is not a license to act a fool. Bye! Damn. Okay. That ain't never stopped us before. <laughs> What's that? Did you have a question? <laughs> oh my god. If you're going to leave, leave. you're going to say help us. Holy shit. I don't know what to do. <laughs> I've been trapped here so long, I'm scared. All right, I'm Listen, the go. whack-a-mole never goes too far. <laughs> and then she she leaves. It's going to pop up again. We're fighting okay. Arcan. <laughs> oh, yeah, by the way. <laughs> I owed you to a bonk. <laughs> uh, okay, so you guys are standing here uh, in the battlefield. There is a huge, uh, partially decapitated minotaur um, about yep. 30 feet away. Uh, about 600 feet away is a wrecked... Uh, uh, infernal machine, and then about a day's drive or so, give or take. You literally have no idea. I don't even know, really. Uh, it is the the Tiamat zone. What do you wanna do? So the wrecked uh, Torgar's Ow. vehicle. Um, yes. what kind of role would we need to see? It, it teleported, right? Huh? It had teleporting capabilities. I think Karloff would be really good. At, yeah, you know, Karloff want to get a piece of that. Doing a Mega Man with that technology into R. Okay. <laughs> okay. Or maybe just extracting the flux capacitor. Let me see if there's any specific mechanical. Like, hey, man. Because there are a lot of things in here that's like, hey, everything's vague. That being said, you can have someone roll a strength check to put a gun. Oh, there's a kitty cat. Hey, sweet boy. Hello, sweet boy. Oh, you're a sweet boy. Oh, you see the fan. You don't like it. Sometimes I'll I'll cover his face so he can't see the fan. Ow! Le- oh, sweet boy. He likes this. He likes this. See how long I can hold it? Let's see how long I can go. He likes it. Ah. Yep. <laughs> As he's clawsy. <laughs> well, for holding a cat upside down. That was pretty long, I think. Yeah, cats typically are not the girls for that. So each time I do it, we get less time. He's such a little, <laughs> he's such a little rascal. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, I wanted to look to see if there's specific mechanics. Given there's few mechanics with how the, these machines work, but they have some specific ones. Um, sometimes I'll see my hair, and I think it's a ghost. <laughs> <laughs> I've done that before. So yeah, uh, you guys drive over there. Uh, you see, uh, the, um, uh, halfling, like, body kind of crumpled, and you see the, uh, uh, cultists impaled on one of the, the hook throwers, and dead as shit. Um, and, yeah, Karloff, like, well, this, this, uh, this seems hard, but, uh, I think we could tow it someplace and maybe, uh, work on it. Uh, I don't quite know if I have this skill myself. Damn. How far away is Mad Maggie's? Uh, and they kind of consults the map, <laughs> and it just goes uh, that way. Uh, uh, you don't know, uh, but when you... Uh, the, the, the interesting thing with travel is you kind of have to... So this is the first time you're going to a place you've been before, is that correct? No, we did, we left to do the Emporium and back to the uh, room. You're here. here. Yeah. yeah, the Bone Bramble, and you've and you've come back here. Oh, and then we're back at the Demon Zapper, yeah. Yeah, duh. Uh, so, yeah, I should have done this before, but I didn't want to, so I'm, now I'm doing it now. <laughs> uh, basically, when you do overland travel um, for a, a place, 
uh, since everything's constantly shifting. It's kind of like making a survival check, and if you've been there before, it's a, uh, I think you make with advantage. I can double check that real quick. Um, And I think that's a kind of fun thing, and uh, it's also the way for the book to be like, oh, are your players over-leveling or under-leveling? Oopsie, it took them three days to get back this thing. Um, Uh, So, a question is, Y'all, do is it worth to get a teleporter in our bebe? Is it worth risking take the curse coming at us if we go out of our way to go to Bad Maggie's? Okay. Oh, you know, you, you think. Uh trying to avoid you know this is kind of part of getting back we don't have to pay the fee if we can just teleport across the river that's what i'm thinking like if we can if we're going to get the teleporter for the the purpose of getting back easier i don't necessarily think we're breaking the compulsion we are just trying to 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 make our way back in the best way possible y'all should have been lawyers I mean, we need to. Okay. That's, I'm down. that's my thought. My my thought process is we're not doing this to get away. We're doing this to get to. So to we're make not it avoiding. easier to get back to. Fulfill yeah, we're not we're not, we're not breaking the compulsion. We're just trying to make, meet the conditions of the compulsion. So I feel like that wouldn't be bad. Okay. And we weren't given a timeline, right? <laughs> It was so just like go get the unicorn and bring it back to me. Yeah. So this is so we're we are doing what we can to bring the unicorn back. Technically, medically speaking. Medically speaking, doing what we can to have as many upgrades as possible. Yeah. Technically, it, going to the town to your east, if you go directly west long enough, you will reach there. Take that, Archon magic. Um, Brett, you seem to be delayed on my end. I don't know if we're accidentally over talking yeah. to you. Um, oh, yeah. oh yeah. yeah. If you yeah, leave and come be... back, it's fine. If you need to read, I just don't want it to sound like we're talking over yeah. you or not. Yeah, let me do that. Oh, I, yeah, I thought that was just my internet <laughs> being trash. <laughs> I'm Brett now. I'm Brett. My name's Brett, and I'm here to I... say I'd like to be evil in a Brett way. Any better? Oh, I missed my Yeah, there you are. Look at that beautiful face. Hey, <laughs> cool. Uh, cool. Th- that that feels like a logical assumption that you guys just made. So your two options here are to either find uh, Mad Maggie's or to find uh, the Wandering Emporium. Yeah, either one can put this thing in the in the the thing properly. I mean, I feel like what what y'all think, Maggie's. I guess we just depend on which one is closer <laughs> or well, which one we run into first. I don't yeah, know. The Wandering Emporium has no fixed location. Which yeah, is and like, cute. Mahadi, I mean, plus wait, we know for a fact it's going to probably cost us like a soul, soul coin or more soul coins to do this. And the question is like, like, Mahadi seems to not really give a shit about us. It's just pure money. Maggie seems like she kind of locked us or kind of locked Karloff at least. Chum, you got, I mean, anyone got a preference? Oh, boy. I'm getting itchy, so I feel like we should do one thing. We should. Yeah, I mean, we know where, we know where the mechanic is. All right, I'm going to flip a soul coin and uh, a screaming infernal demon head. (laughs) We go, we go to Mad Maggie's and a hollering devil head. I'm assuming it's that's an a ass. It's, a, it's an ass. It's a, D, it's a hollering an ass? ass. Okay, yeah. the ass. It's... No, it's a it's a letter. It's an infernal letter. All right, team. Uh, flip it. Flip it. Laser go. Flip. It's tails. <laughs> tails, Mad Maggie's. Let's go. All right. All right. Laser just ran over and bite the. Going to Maggie's. Okay. Okay. This is how it works. Uh, as does the, the unicorn player... fly, or does the unicorn need to be in the car? Uh, uh, there's uh... a different word for a unicorn with wings. It's not a Pegasus. <laughs> it's something else. Oh, that's right. It's... I always assume it's a Pegasus. It's called uh... a rapidash. Rapidash. No, 
Fuck, there is a word for it. Fuck. While you're looking this up, uh, uh, one of you roll. Alicorn, two... alicorn, alicorn. Alicorn, wonderful. Uh, one of you roll two d8s, please. Two d8s. Who wants one to person do, do two? Who or... doing it? Who do it? I'm doing it. Okay. The two d8s come together to make nine. No, no, no. What does each d8 tell me? Tell you? One d8 is an eight. One d8 is a one. Sick. Okay. Oh no. No, that's good actually. Uh, so I, I, we actually did do this before. Um, uh, when charting a course, uh, if you've been to somewhere, you roll two d8s. If the dice do not match, you get there. Uh, if you've never been there, you roll two d4s. And uh, oh, okay. If you are being led there, you roll two uh. d10s. It's a cute little fun system, I think. Uh, okay, so you travel. You have to. You you lose um, a day, basically traveling. Um, uh, it takes, oh. you have to, you lose one soul coin. Okay. Tim, so we may I do a short rest while, 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 you while we are? do a long are... rest if you'd like. Oh, yeah. But let me take out that soul coin from the inventory. Do you, are there I conditions think... for the long rest? Are we going to need to stop and do all that kind of good stuff? Or can I just click the button? Uh, well, just, I'm, I'm saying car. you can attempt to do it. Um... Yeah, I mean, how do you want to how do you, how do you want to do the long rest? Long rests and frickin' uh, uh, Avernus are, are zany. Yeah, that's why I'm like, I mean, I could take a short rest. That's no biggie. Yeah, you weren't hit with a goo, so you don't give a crap. Yeah. Me either. I mean, I could do a short rest too. It doesn't. Okay. I'm fine with the short. Okay, All I'm right. gonna snuggle up next to Chum and take a short rest. How about you, Chum? Are you fine with the short rest? <sighs> Yeah, I've got. I only used a couple spell slots. Okay, so you travel for about ten hours, uh, kind of dozing here and there, short resting, but being on, um, uh, on the lookout. And I will roll this d one hundred. I keep moving my d tens between two different boxes, and I never cousin have them. Forty-four. What does forty-four give us on the beautiful thing? Oh, in front of you. <laughs> uh, 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 surprise, surprise! You see dust in the distance, but uh, the classic overland travel dust side uh, quest slash uh, uh, um, radiant event or whatever, a dynamic event in front of you is huge. Oh shit! Freaking huge! The closer you get, you see explosion. You you hear like obviously driving in the uh, car is um, quite quite the situation in a demon grinder. Like it's vibrating, but at some point you the the demon grinder um, kind of bounces up and down. And uh, someone give me uh, two swords. Give me a strength saving because you're on the back usually, right? Yeah. Yeah. Give me a strength saving throw or check or something. <laughs> that is a uh, thirty-five or something. <laughs> Eleven plus thirteen. Ah. Okay. So yeah, the you see the chains start to break a little bit, and you're able to like rehook so you don't lose uh, and don't damage the broken um, uh, tormentor. Uh, but in front of you, Nash, you probably sense it first. What with your 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 good good snoot and ears. Uh, there's a full scale battle going in front of you. Uh, oh shit! Maybe ten, maybe like a thousand uh, de devils, and maybe like five thousand demons. Uh, they seem to be fighting over this huge. I was called a husk. You don't know what it is, so husk uh, serves our purposes fine. Uh, overhead, there are just clashes of uh, winged, uh, spiked de uh, devils and Vrox and other strange creatures. And what you saw uh, and felt was the crashing of this huge, huge creature, probably like 65 feet tall, which just crushes um, the uh, 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 like host beneath it. Uh, do you want to drive through yeah. this, or what do you guys want to do? This up? Can, can a car tiptoe backwards? <laughs> 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 um, I believe, Andra. depending on your choices, there's a lot of different things that can happen here. Um, uh, uh, pitch me what you would like to do, my friends. 
how big are these uh, are, is the horde of like t- uh, tall wise because it's you know we're driving a car is it are we driving towards a crowd of like humanoids or are we some, driving like yeah. through a flock of pigeons <laughs> some are about a foot tall some are 60 feet tall uh some are 15 Jesus. um and there's just a host of uh flying creatures too hmm. how's the unicorn doing uh i feel like the unicorn is like s- weirdly s- sitting in the tormentor being like it's fine no i will sit it's fine a horse can sit i can sit too i've done it before the cafes i go to in water deep they let me sit all the time also okay. torgor have big seat oh, i'm falling hmm yeah so it feels like straight through the middle is a bad idea yeah yeah, yeah. i'll tell you now if you do that we're that, dead. that would be a total party wipe. Like, we'll, we'll, we could have a fun. <laughs> we could have a fun. Like, see how long you survive, but you just die. No, it's yeah. like the, it's the, the same situation is, of falling off El Torel. <laughs> like, all right, is cool. Is it possible to go around? It, or we're talking like, yeah, like in the, so. three days out of our way. Uh, you don't know yet, but um, uh, it, it, I mean, right? Like ahead of you, it's like literally a host, and mayhaps like a mile wide stretch in front of you. Do all not right. eat corn. Try and give it and like, I don't know, give ourselves like a solid 20 mile radius from that and go all the way around. Okay. Yeah, I think, think going around would probably be smart. Like, but like, I mean, like, solid like 20 miles away from the edge of it. Like, enough for that ain't gonna notice us. Okay. Uh, you know what's funny? I, um, I rolled a 44 and instead of, I didn't have my PDF open, instead of, uh, wasting y'all's time, I picked what the one that I thought was cool, and I, I just opened it up to see if there's any, any other flavor I could add in. And you motherfuckers, 44 is this one. Guys, how did we do that? Uh, so Whoa. give me a, a group stealth check. A group like stealth check. Steal. Uh, that's an 11. <laughs> That's uh, three. I'm going to make you guys freaking um, roll with disadvantage like I should have had. Of... I mean, I already do have disadvantage for stealth. So. Uh, I actually lied, guys. It wasn't. But this one, the one I wanted is was a, a six to ten. I'm sorry. Damn. Um, it's okay. Um, wh- as you roll your battle, uh, or as yourself, excuse me. Um, Pretty sure we <laughs> fail. Uh, you, as you kind of are going off the quote unquote beaten path, um, uh, uh, we, we we use stealth, but it's more or less like you know, as you go off to the side, you you distract uh, like uh, I don't know a thousand fucking uh, no like probably like fifty uh, demons, and they look at you. And they start to move, and but and due to your 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 haste, you see in front of you, and I guess beneath you, um, accidentally, um, you have run aground into some quick sand. Uh, uh, can you give me? Um, Are we in a cartoon? Yeah. <laughs> uh, can you give me? Uh, how well, how are you gonna deal with this? Actually, this is kind of like a skill challenge, I think. Um, it is. flail around wildly. Everyone knows that's the best <laughs> way to get out of quicksand. Who who has that joke? Is it um uh? I think it was John Mulaney. John like, Mulaney. I thought it was going to be a way bigger problem yeah. as an adult because it's <laughs> <laughs> that's so funny. Um, yeah. So we're stuck in quicksand. Enemies are running. Well, towards. you're like you like look down like oh shit, we're going slow and you're you're sinking. Uh, is the is the demon grinder a willing creature? No. <laughs> All right. Uh, how big is the quicksand? Like, is it just a small patch? It's big. Right now, you just know it's big. Is it just the front of us that's in it? Could like we pull out? Could we pull the car back out? I think is, that like, you've been front? in it for probably like twenty feet. If oh shit. Well, fuck. Well, fuck. All right. Skill challenge. Skill check. Skill. Skill check. It's fun. Yeah, what are you guys going to do? I believe in I'm you. I'm going to use... Can I use my intimidation to intimidate 
the monsters running at us to slow them down. Okay. Uh -huh. I thought you were going to intimidate the quicksand. And I was like, yeah, I'm also worried about that. Uh, there, there should be like, yeah, I'm gonna, it, from us. See, we got to get slow, yeah, you slow see, their assault so we have more time for the smart okay. people to figure it out. Well, yeah, you know, it's, it's not a city. Like, what you see is like a group of shapes, blobs, uh, uh, break off and chase after you. Um, and you can't quite tell what they are uh, due to the chaos of battle, literally. Um, and as they get closer to you, uh, you notice that they are um, uh, uh, kind of like those hell dogs that you saw before uh, with these kind of fleshy um, uh, creatures on top of them, sort of like flying behind, trying to get them like, no, nah, no, and trying to like pull them back. Like one is like slapping the dog in the head and the dog just like rips them in half and then like continues forward. What? What if Nash or Moon Killer teleport us to solid ground, twenty feet away, with chain, and we're holding chains, and we pull okay. the baby out? I love that. Um, that is a thing that we could do. Uh, if I teleport us, it'll blow the car up. Nope, don't want to do that. <laughs> Because my teleport. Oh that my god! I was like, "Why now. doesn't Chum just do that?" That was beef. That was beef. Oh, oh. all right. Yeah. <laughs> Handsome boy. Mm -hmm. God, yeah, beef was so pretty. <laughs> he was too beautiful so for bad this world. For yeah, he was too beautiful for this world. Damn. Okay. Same day we. Oh got yeah. Did you want to roll the intimidation? Sorry. I oh yeah, yeah. Distracted. I'm gonna intimidate <laughs> these guys. With a plus, oh, Jesus. I feel like that just won't work in this world at all. <laughs> well, with, with the plus six, uh, I got a ten. Uh, <laughs> well, so I, I, so I, Chum, I, Chum is just like, hey, uh, get, get back. <laughs> Scram. <laughs> uh, the, Good one. Enough, uh, the, the devil dogs do not, do not break off their approach. Cool. That was a good use of time. <laughs> I'm calling out a fair. Yeah. Uh, moon color, you want to like teleport us? We'll hold the ends of these chains, and we'll have them tied to the bay, and we'll teleport us like to solid ground back there. And okay. We'll okay, I can teleport us a mile if you'd like. No, well, can you teleport the whole car? No. Oh well, no, not not a whole mile. Okay, uh, the chains, chains don't go that long. All right, pull, uh, tell me where. Uh, where? There's like I a rock. I look Do you back. see a rock? It's like we see like a rock. Okay, yeah. that rock right there. Okay, and then he kind of like clumpers over to you guys, and then closes his eyes, and then is like, "You guys close your eyes too." Wait, okay. you guys go because someone's gonna throw you the chains. Okay, sure. Okay, stop! Not a toy. Um. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, close your eyes too, uh, two swords and chum. It won't work unless you do it. Uh, Nash, you too. All right, I'm gonna close my eyes, but I'm not teleporting. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and then, <laughs> I know. Uh, and as you guys, they just hear you can open it. And as you open it, uh, you two are standing on that rocky outcropping. Cool. Ooh. Sick. All right. All right, give me some sort of uh, 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 athletics check to pull the friggin' cars out or to stop them from very, sinking more. Very happy to, Tim. <laughs> Are we throwing the chains, or do we have them already? I'll 28. say you have them. I'm not interested in making Yeah, through the chains. Yeah. You guys are good. 28. Fuck. Yeah, so between you, Chum, and Karloff kind of, like, ripping it around and Bear kind of... A, the, the other car is, like, completely fucked up. But uh, in this instance, they're able to kind of uh, get one quick um, burst, and you're able to get out of the worst danger. But you're not out of it yet. What next, friends? Uh, so we're out of the quicksand, but we're still... Those things are still coming for us. Mm -hmm. And then the quicksand seems to be blocking our way around. Yeah, so you the... kind of have, like, army to your back, quicksand in front of you, um, maybe with some other... In uh, uh, great roles. You can find uh, another thing. Maybe pick a new route. Maybe uh, kill something. I don't know. You know, we're, okay. we're making it up on the fly. I, you know, for sure. I'm gonna shift 
uh, and utilize my heightened senses okay. to percept um, an escape route. Sick. Okay. All right. So I get advantage on this bad boy. Maybe this is the curse. Maybe it doesn't cause us pain. It just <laughs> makes it really it just like crumbling. <laughs> I got a 21. Sick. All right, yeah. <laughs> my you're big years you're able to, um, with that good of a roll, you're able to not only discern a great path, but a path that leads by your t your, your three uh, newest friends uh, so you, that you don't leave them in hell um, about uh, 100 or 1,000 feet away from a uh, massive battle. So uh, can Chum and Two Swords make some sort of get-on-the-car check as they're driving fast, trying not to fall back or, like, let the uh, Tormentor be sucked in and bring them down with them. So you need to jump on the car. You need to friggin' do a magic. You uh, know, something, whatever. Chum hasn't used athletics yet. Okay. So uh, it's like you jump poorly, but you grab onto something. Is is two swords out here? I, I'll be like, two, do the yeah. do the foot thing. The, the foot handhold. Oh, okay. Yeah. And I run up and do, like, just the dopest, like, <sighs> leap into the air okay. like with two swords is lifting yeah i mean two swords is so strong that you're like 300 throw them, I throw them over the... <laughs> and metal and swords i was like who cares i throw uh, them over and, the car yeah the, the, the rock beneath you cracks in half and you're like what <laughs> yeah maybe not quite as graceful as i was hoping with a 16 but okay that's good enough but you do take one point of actual damage as you thunk and and you you get an ouchie on your rib just beneath uh your left nipple um how about you two swords you have uh, i'm gonna your good friends two swords, swords i'm gonna throw something at you two swords did you okay. know that if you do a 10 a 10 foot like run before you jump you can jump equal a number of feet equal to your strength score oh my god you're gonna you're gonna I'm rail 25. gun through you can car. jump 25 feet yeah if you want to. it's a new um, attack and i was like ball, yeah! Ball off. <laughs> yeah i fall special myself yeah exactly wow. <laughs> and your your high jump uh is you is uh equal feet of three plus your strength modifier as long as you move 10 feet. <laughs> oh my god imagine that of like just a leap with the swords out like ah, <laughs> yeah That's you so have sick. like my jumping ability That's so um, awesome. It's uh okay. Well, I feel like it's not fair because I just use athletics. I so care. I guess I would try acrobatics or no, or whatever you think. Yeah, no, I don't, this is this is less of a random encounter to make you yeah. die, but more to show off your skills. And if you do fuck up, you could die. Well, My I rolled a ten. So that would be plus five if it's acrobatics, or plus eleven if it's athletics. Okay, well, yeah, we'll we'll subtract one from your athletics because you use the same skill. So yeah, you're also <laughs> you're able to like superhero three point land on top of like the front of the car, and uh, uh, Moon Color is just like Gah! also is able to jump inside the tormentor. Cool. And you guys are able right. to so outpace. We got to navigate Nash. We got to uh oh, uh oh. What? What? Oh no! Oh no! Pets internet died. Maybe. I love when you get a, just a kiss of their internet dying. It's like, oh shit! Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was my internet dying. I was like, yeah. No. I'm always afraid it's me. <laughs> um, Twitch, how are you guys doing? Still good? Oh no, shit! Fuck. How the sexy know. Twitch people? Twitch. Pat, come back! All right, everyone on Twitch, you gotta clap for Pat to come back. He's so embarrassed. He's too scared. <laughs> Oh, poor Pat. Brett and Josh, do you guys ever find your beard to not be soft? Like, um, I mean, yes. when it's too short. I hate it. Well, good. He's back. He's back. I'm Brett. I'm Brett. <laughs> I guess I'll fix it. We missed you. I like being Brett. Um. Okay. Uh, so you're able to drive away. Unfortunately, you have to spend one more soul coin. Um, as it has taken you a little bit of time as you um, kind of sense that it's a new day. Uh... Roll. Oh, thank you. I'm rolling just for the heck of it. 
Um, what do I add? Nothing. Uh, as it. it's a brand new day, uh, each of you take a total of uh, all at once. You guys are kind of tired because you've been driving. You've been kind of sh- uh, napping and shift to avoid exhaustion um, without taking a long rest. Um, uh, everyone give me first a it's a new day. So give me a constitution saving throw, please. Oh, jeez. Con, 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 con. Mm-mm-mm-mm. 16. Okay. Hey, 22. Okay. 17. Okay, you're all fine. Uh, you're, you're tired. You're narratively rp uh tired of shit, but, you know, you're fine. Um, and you are able to uh, greet the fresh new day without suffering any exhaustion. Um, but you take 21 points of damage as you just feel compelled to return immediately to Archon. Fuck. It's like, a how many? 21. That's what we're doing. We're literally, <laughs> we're literally <laughs> trying to, to. That's some, it was a scam. But, right. uh, you, after kind of traveling all not, all night again, no real sun, you know, situation, uh, you do see, uh, two things that are, that are one, hopeful, two, horrific. Oh, you god see... damn it, that froze me. <laughs> Parker was like, should I stay this way for another four seconds to make them be afraid? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Just like uh, pause. <laughs> yeah, you see Elturel, uh, uh significantly lower uh, than uh, you saw before. Not, uh, I don't know. I'm not giving you a clock. It, it's it's scary. Oh crap! Look how much closer Elturel is to the River Styx. Uh, it seems to be. You still see like certain smoke trailing up for different parts. Um, as you get closer, uh, you are able to make out, uh, you are coming from a similar direction that you're able to make out the keep that you came from the high hall. Okay. And it's there. Woohoo. It's not a smoldering ruin. That's at least something nice. And, and, uh, with your intense perceptions, you kind of can make, um, the flag of El Terrell waving above it. So that's good news. It is a lot lower. Um, but that's fine, uh, which means that you're probably you're getting pretty clear to Fort Knuckle Bone. As always, uh, you see the large mountain hill with the kind of uh, um, chunks of it. What do they call those on the sides of mountains? You know what I'm saying? Like there's big mountain, but then there's like a part like the the roots of the mountain, if you will. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I don't know, man. You know, I, I I don't know if they even happen in the real world, but like in video games, they're always there. It's the part that you kind of can get up in Skyrim, but then you always get stuck in because yeah. you're not supposed to walk up. You there. can like cheese your jumps to get yeah, up there. Yeah, you can Let's walk see. your horse backwards up them. Um, <laughs> that area before the big z- z- zone, whatever those are called. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and yeah, you see Fort Knuckle Bone ahead of you. Sick. Dope. Cool. Oh, do we see yeah. any of our red caps that we that we know? Yeah, I mean, well, how are you gonna approach? You don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, right. Right. <laughs> I mean, maybe he knows from a, a different time. Who's to say? Who's to say? Uh, yeah. Do you uh, you know the fortified compound sits atop a low plateau? Blah 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 blah. blah. Um, I- anything you want to do? The, as you're getting closer, the door is not opening. Was I happy? Like us. Yeah, Chum's like, why? Why are we here? <laughs> yeah, I want to see my buddy Mickey. He's my bud. Uh, That's true. The yeah, there you can kind of see the red caps like uh, laughing and then not doing anything. But then as you see Mickey and they see her, they kind of like stop for a second and you hear. I wave groan, at Mickey. And then a uh, the door kind of swing open and then you see huge bits of like garbage move on the side and like being pushed but and then you see the giant um uh hell creature mickey waving <laughs> at you. you probably like you were slowly going at it like for a couple minutes yeah. and um you see like a dead red cap on the ground uh uh underneath um M- mickey's feet and you see red cap blood on him and he kind of like hops up and down it kind of like hey, comes up and gives you a big chewbacca hug hell yeah, yeah. good to see you 
uh, all the rest of the denizens are kind of like looking at you and like, wow, can't believe you're alive. And then you hear, well, 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 look at what the cat dragged in. You, yeah. you haven't hey, died. We got you a present. Wonderful. So you see this, but okay. <laughs> There's one little thing. Hey, Meg, we got business. We're also cursed and we're, and we're hurting. So we got to get back to this place. And then cursed, she kind of like leans but... down and uh, sniffs you, Nash. Yep. I, I can tell that. Yeah. So, yeah, sucks. Cool thing, couple things. One, hey, if you got any health potions, gladly buy them off you. Got a few my left myself. Wanted to save them for dire circumstances. But okay. that being said, you see this cool car, or, or I don't know what car means. You see this 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 vehicular contraption? Yeah, that's a telling? tormentor. Yeah, yeah. It is all yours as a gift. But there's one little thing inside of it. It can do like a teleport, and we really need that teleport. And we okay. need to put that in the bebe. And but everything else is yours as a gift, as a thank you for your awesomeness. So we just can y'all help us? Can the them bird fellas help us get put the teleport thing in our car? And as a thank you, you get whatever else in the tormentor. You don't belong to. You don't belong to. Who you like this? Torgar Steel Fist. Holy fucking shit! <laughs> yeah, oh, we wow. we killed we killed him. You guys are bad. We killed that precept guy too, didn't we? <laughs> Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know what else you like? We killed Ragged Dragon. Yeah, I, yeah. I was about and to mention ki- all the, the some of the, these. And we uh, killed Princess Kovach. <laughs> Princess Kovach. You did. Prince. Got all them dudes. <laughs> and she kind of like leans down and sniffs more deeply of the car. Okay, I can see some little modifications that Karloff did. I like that. Huh. You got rid of Princeps? Yeah. And Ragged Dragon. Yeah, we saw a bit of that fight. Uh, yeah. Uh, 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 old Mickey said that you would make it through. I said, ah, I think they will, but I'm a betting woman and I like to win. And then I lost. <laughs> but... <laughs> uh, okay. I think we can come to a, 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 an agreement. We could do this, but given your situation. Who the fuck are you? And she looks oh. at you, Chum. <laughs> That's Chum. He's with us. Why, oh, hello there. Uh, yeah, I'm Chum. <laughs> um, cursed twice. That's it's real fun. <laughs> and then uh, she kind of like cracks her her knuckles and uh, uh, rubs her finger, getting a little bit of a, a kiss of a scratch, just a kiss of a scratch on your head, and then sucks on her her finger, getting some of your uh, sweat and grime. Like, you are an interesting one. Uh, <laughs> You're real lucky. This isn't one of them thinner curses, or else you'd have it now. <laughs> no, I'd be fine. I I, I don't know what you said to me. Uh, <laughs> well, as you rid the waste of some of my clientele, uh, or clientele, uh, uh, rivals. Competition. Competition, thank you. Words uh, are hard. I, I could do this for you. Here's the thing. I could do it fast, or I could do it, well, here's the, I'll, I'll do it for you, but it'll take three days. Or... Uh, we can uh, bring in some uh, 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 assistance, and I can do it faster. That will cost you, my friend, but I'm willing to knock off 30 soul coins, and it'll just be five. Fuck. We have that. Do, do we have that? I mean, yeah. Out of character got, asking, um, do we have that? We will be, if we pay her five, one, two, three, four, five. Hey, also out of character, doesn't she know magic stuff or was that the skull the floating skull that was magical the floating skull um, like, if if we pay her five we'll have three left sure but if we is stay there someone days, here that can uncurse die. us huh oh. is, is there someone here that can uncurse us yeah y'all know one can like remove our this curse possibly um i probably could but i won't what if <laughs> um, i pay you i'll pay you Five is it actually a curse? Our curse? It's not a curse, no. Uh, uh, I believe if uh, I remove it, uh, Torgar's associate w- will, would have reason to think of me. Something I do not want. You know yeah, how yeah, it is. Really Mags. 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 How about Mags? What? How about, can, can you help us out? I'll owe you one. I'm getting really big. I'm getting not, we're getting a nice big wrap around these parts. And like, we, we can look someone. Is, there a, bad guy you, is there a bad guy you need killing? No, give me the belt guys? and I'll do it. Hell no. Uh, <laughs> See the belt. <laughs> <laughs> um, what if we did 
two soul coins and the tormentor from Torgar. You already given me the tormentor. You said so. Yeah. yeah. That's like, why I'm knocking off thirty. Part of the payment. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's why we're knocking off thirty of it. Just give it the five. Fine. Three's I'll good. <laughs> five soul coins. You get it right done. And how long now? Right away, basically. It'll probably take me. What do you think, Chuck and uh, Clonk? Oh, uh, hmm. uh, uh, we couple, couple uh, people owe us a couple uh, um, uh, favors. We could call in if you really want to. Like, okay. And then she kind of uh, 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 bites down on her one nail, and then like kind of you hear a cracking noise, and then she just goes. And much like now that I've seen the movie, Spirited Away, she kind of makes a zipping noise in front of you, and uh, you see her hands kind of like a goat see through this uh, <laughs> fabric, and she kind of <laughs> rips through, and you kind of see this um, uh, hellish uh, <laughs> um, um, bog swamp. <laughs> I don't know what other fun words to say. And then you hear, well, I need more. Uh, I know. I know! I said I wouldn't re-up for some time, but I need it. I got a big score. And then you just hear, like, kind of a slow, long, like, belch slash bubble slash burp. Kind of uh, uh, as if the swamp itself is groaning. And then you hear the sickening slap uh, uh, and see beneath you, like, 13 more uh, red caps just get kind of like almost vomited out from this uh, rip in the fabric of existence. Oh uh, shit, okay. And uh, she ha- she puts her hand out for the soul coins. Uh, two swords, give those up! I do. And uh, she cracks one with her fingers, which is like ridiculous. It And quickly <laughs> puts it in there and shuts it closed. Uh, and the other four, she does the, the, the radical dancing on her knuckles and then uh they just disappear like all right we'll get to work my new associates and they just like look why are we here and uh she waves her hands at them and like okay and uh chucka and clonk are able to with the help of the 13 less mad red caps are able to work on your um um machine and next week We'll find out what that means. So, wow, what fun was that? That was we got to see Mad Maggie. I love Mad Maggie. It hurt. Mad Maggie's great. It hurts we my throat Mad to Maggie. do, but it makes me um, fun. Uh, wow. I feel like we have work to do, friends, uh, between next episode because I don't know what you guys are gonna do, and I need to prepare for it because a lot of things could happen. Usually, you know, I'm, I obviously prepare a little bit between each session, but it's all part of one long Laffy Taffy spread uh, of a preparation. But sometimes it's that situation of you guys got to tell me what you think you're going to do so that I can make sure. I have a thing that I think we could do. Okay. Can we potentially long rest while we're waiting for the car to be finished? Yeah, certainly. You do it. Click the button. Yes. Hey. And we're in a safe spot. Yeah. Safe-ish. Yeah, not, you don't have to look, man. Yay. Um, yeah, we'll talk off air. Uh, everyone, please do your pluggables right now. Right now? Do it. Go, go, go. I am Brett Eagleston. You can follow me on Twitter at Brett Eagles. Uh, or... I'm going to post in the chat here. You can help me achieve my dreams and donate to my GoFundMe to buy the web domain, (laughs) but.club. I really, really want it. And it's stupid expensive. There you go. Okay. Pat? Uh, I'm at the Pat Edwards. And we are literally exactly one week away from... The launch of the Red Opera Kickstarter. That's got an email. Uh, so I will be screaming about that. Yeah, if you signed up for like, like that, I, while we were streaming, I saw a note come through from the studio that they're sending their first kind of like blast. Um, so yeah, I'll be screaming about that. It should, we're nailing down the exact time of going live. I believe the campaign will be live the time we're streaming Ooh. next week. So you will be able to. 
And don't, but I might have a special link for Geekly I'm working on to possibly give something back to Geekly because I love this community and it's so amazing. So there'll be like maybe a, I'm working with the studio. We're trying to figure out the logistics, but I might have like a special URL for Geekly that could get, you know, something paid back to Geekly as like a thank you because I do love this community. Oh, and uh, yeah. so stay tuned for that. And uh, don't know if it's set in stone, if that's a date, but you might see me twice on Tuesday. <laughs> um, the first, but yeah, so that's kind of what's on my mind these days. Last Hell year yeah. of my life coming to fruition. Yay. It's going to be Yay. good. Joshua. So Josh, me? Josh, Josh. Hello. You can find me anywhere you can stalk your exes uh, uh, at Josh Sketh. That's at J O S K E T H. Uh, I act a fool on the net, um, and it's a great time. Um, I'm also on a podcast for the hit show Naruto called Naruto Review To. Tim is there with me. I love um, it. And we talk about naruto and laugh and it's a great time for a perfect show I love um it. yeah it's, it's a good time uh, and that's where you can find that's where you can find me sick uh you can find me on twitter at tim Lanning, where i do various uh streams and podcasts and things like that one of the things i'm hoping to do now that my beautiful wife is gone is to move table here the rover cat move table here and then what if I had a table right here and then the camera, I would move the camera and then I could like do stuff on the table, <laughs> right? Like what if, That'd I, be cool. what if I do like a, re- a review unboxing thing of the the Hellscape Dwarven Forge <sighs> pieces and like play with yeah. that? Wouldn't we love that? Unboxing oh. stuff is real popular. You should do that, Tim. Yeah. Think, oh, it's really funny to say Because today... Also, I got a message, and I will be retweeting as soon as we're off the stream here. I will be tweeting um, the uh, the studio, Patio Studios, that did the production work. Uh, Jameson is the studio head. He is he just did an unboxing video that was just released today. Of so, I connected with this group called Anvil. They we have custom minis. Four of the four main NPCs of the Red Opera will be one of the rewards. And uh, he did an unboxing video showing. So we we got to design those, and their system was a lot of fun. Excited. So we have four custom minis that are the four main character, the four main NPCs of the Red Opera, and there's an unboxing video. That Very is cool. awesome. Uh, no Gapcast episode tonight because Michael Demaro is moving uh, house, so that is taking up all his time. So our our God, episode right. on Monday will be uh, our live show from. <laughs> the digital geekly con which was so much fun but oh, yeah but uh no gap cast tonight maybe i'll do something i don't really know yet uh <laughs> also listen dear is very good thank you so much goodbye bye bye can you do the reach for it so i can just click it just click it oh yeah do the uh the online thing where it's like <laughs> yeah